Welcome to Tech Brothers uh, with Amir. Today we are going to answer this question and uh, uh, learn about model database in SQL Server. So the question is, one of our developer has created five functions. Whenever new database is created, these functions should be created in it without running create statement for those functions every time we create a new database. So what are my options? So we have a model database that is a system database and it is used as a template to create user databases in SQL Server. And some of the features of that model database are also used in creation of TempDB. So whenever you restart your services, the TempDB is recreated and it, it need some features that it can copy from the model database. So don't just go away and say, okay, I got my answer. What exactly is happening? Model database is the system database. And if I create a object in there, it will be created in newly database because it is a template, right? But there are a lot more. I want to show you different options, uh, their restrictions and all that. So you, you will learn a lot of stuff uh, and uh, detailed stuff uh, with this uh, demonstration. So let's uh, go to SSMS and take a look right now. So I have a model database here and uh, let me take properties. Uh, this is uh, under the databases. You have system databases and uh, you are going to click here. You are going to see you will see master model MSDB and uh, you will see uh, TempDB here. So let's click on a model right now. Go to properties. So here what I have, I have files and uh, the initial size of uh, this uh, model database is uh, 200, 200 and uh, the growth is uh, by 10 MB and uh, for data file and for 5 MB for a log file and uh, they are limited uh, to the your max size to the 100 MB. So let me change this one. I want to change this one to let's say 50 and then uh, I want to change this one to 50 as well. So I want uh, this model database uh, uh, initial size 50 uh, for log and data file. So whenever I create a new database, it should follow or uh, take these numbers and create a new database for me with the, these uh, settings. Next, uh, uh, let's leave this one as it is. Uh, we are fine with that. Um, and uh, we will, uh, I will show you some uh, points here. So a few things, uh, you cannot change the owner of a uh, model database. You cannot also change the correlation of model database. You cannot also create the objects with encryption on uh, in the model database. So you cannot enable CDC on the model database. You cannot use this database as a part of always on. So there are some restrictions. Uh, you, you, there is a list of those restrictions uh, that you want to follow on the MSDN website and take a look to learn more about the restrictions. Now let's uh, hit uh, options here. And right now the recovery model is set to full. So I want to set this one to simple. My goal is whenever I want to create a new database, it should have a recovery model simple because it used the model database as a template. So uh, if I set this one to simple, it should uh, be creating with the simple, right? So hit OK. Now there are two things we can do. Uh, one thing and also let's create a couple of objects so we can see if they will be copied to the new database. So I'm creating a create table DBO test one. It has just ID integer go. And now that table is created, I'm creating another object a table DBO. Sorry, let's create a view this time. Create view DBO VW test one as and select uh, data from DBO test. So we have view ready as well. Let's uh, hit on the tables, take a look. So I have two of them. I was creating uh, one for the demo and uh, just to take a look how things work here. And there are two tables right now we have in one is called DB audit. The other one is we just created is called test. In the views, I have two view as well. One for audit, one for te test one. So now there are multiple ways to create our database. We know that we can create the database by using create statement or we can use the GUI. Let's create, uh, use the create statement here. So if I will say create database, I'm going to say model copy and run the statement. So what is happening here? 
is taken forever. Uh, shouldn't take that long to create a database, um, but it's uh, almost like 10 seconds. Uh, I don't want to stop the video and come back. Uh, I want to show you here and uh, we can move forward from there. So what we got here, it's saying uh, could not obtain exclusive lock on database model. Retry the operation later. So what is happening? As uh, the session uh, is open, uh, or um, um, we have this uh, connection open to the model database, it is not able to put uh, exclusive lock on model database and cannot create uh, the database for us. Let's uh, uh, close this one, and now let me open a new query by just uh, and uh, we haven't uh, written anything here. We haven't. Uh, we are not selecting anything. We are not uh, updating, deleting anything. We just open a query. Just you know, uh, that's pointing to the model, and uh, so it is. Uh, a new connection is open. Now, if I rerun this one again, what happened? It is doing the same thing. As the connection is open to model database, it is going to throw us error. It said, okay, I cannot put exclusive lock on model to create a new database. So it copies uh, the model database and then create a um, uh, new database for us. And uh, there is a query open to the model database that, that's not letting it do it. So close this one. I have a another uh, video uh, that's uh, on cursors and uh, in that uh, video I explain how to kill all the connections on a database um, this can be very good example of that if uh, there are queries they are open to model database you want to kill all of them and uh, create your uh, database so you can do that uh, or there could be other options as well to use that uh, video so close uh, this uh, window or connection and now if we create a the model, uh, the sorry, the new database, it is creating right away. So model copy is ready. Let's take a look. What changes we made on the model database? Are they affected to the newly created database or not? So refresh, model copy. Let's go here. Take a look. Now here on the files, the data file size, which said 50-50. It took uh, for data file, but it didn't take uh, for the log file. So that's one thing we understand. Okay, it doesn't really follow everything. So next part. Remember, we have auto growth of five and uh, uh, five, and um, there was a limit of hundred and hundred. Uh, but wh where that gone? That, that didn't even copy as well. So let's go to the model. Right click and properties. So file, we can compare. I'm trying to bring both of them together if I can. Here, okay. So here, uh, what I see in the model, I had 10 MB auto growth on da data, and then I have 100 max size, and the five on this one um, on log, and 100 max. But it didn't, it didn't really follow anything. If I go to the newly one, so it has, uh, okay, that for data by 1 MB unlimited and by 10% limited to the, and this is a, uh, you know, so uh, what is happening here? So it didn't follow all the settings of what we provided to the model database. So let's go to your options now. But recovery model is set to simple as we have set the recovery model to simple in the same uh, model database. Hit cancel. What? Uh, I was thinking at this point, okay, maybe I have made the changes, maybe connection, maybe this is connected with the same connection. One thing, let me go back and disconnect SQL Server, reconnect it, and maybe give a try. So that might help. So when I say create database, and I say model copy one, so this time, uh, database in create dropper database. Sorry, I'm sorry with the spellings. Okay, so now I'm creating model database one uh, after disconnecting to SQL Server by assuming okay, this time it should take the values. Now, if I go back here and uh, take a look on the files, uh, so still it took 50 for the data file but didn't take 50 or, uh, for the uh, log file but and also the auto growth and max size it didn't take it so it, what does that mean to us 
it means it doesn't copy every option what we change on the model database but let's go here and take a look on the tables so those objects remember those were there in the model database we have audit and uh, test table they are copied so if you create some objects uh, they will be copied to the new uh, database as the new database a copy of model database but it is not taken every settings now let's go back here and I want to show you a few more things one assumption uh, what we did uh, okay by disconnecting uh, maybe it will take uh, effect and uh, create with settings that didn't uh, help so one more thing I want to do I want to create a database uh, coming from here now when you create uh, the database uh, from the GUI so what what you see here right now in the model if we go to model our let's say this is 50 and 51 uh, let's change to 50 so we can keep the number track here so I have initial size 50 50 for log and data and I'm gonna change everything uh, to the 10 okay so we have 10 MB auto growth and uh, limited size to the max lim max size to the hundred hit okay now if I will uh, I, I will uh, uh, create this uh, database one more time and show you with the t-sql so let's create a new database now when we are creating with the new one what is happening even we have done the setting I, I believe so if I will disconnect this one because uh, on model database uh, but we have set uh, the properties right now so let me change this one to 50 hit ok now if we go and take a uh, properties it is not letting me do it uh, ok uh, that's fine initial size let, let's change to 100 just give a try we want to see if with the GUI it helps so now we change to 100 and uh, if we take a look one more time real quick uh, files now it is the initial size is 100 and 100 auto growth is 10 and uh, the max size is um, 100 MB on both sides now if I create a database with the GUI so it is took the initial size whatever the size uh, we have defined for the model so if we are creating the create database it's not taking the same size and everything but when uh, we are using the GUI it is showing us the same options okay so that's one thing we want to understand and then uh, in the options if I go hit options it is already set to simple because it took uh, that template uh, from the model so if we create a copy model underscore two it is creating a database let's go and take a look on copy, copy model 2 properties we see the files so they are created exactly with the same setting what we have on the uh, model database hit okay one more time I am as we we see that okay now the things are getting affected if I will create a database uh, and give the database name uh, say model copy 3 now I'm assuming like okay now it is working in GUI why not with the create statement so this is one of the try I want to give and see if uh, the things has changed but I don't think so so here what you see now now it took the data size correctly and then log file log file size uh, it took 25 and the auto growth and max size didn't take it but uh, in the options where we have simple recovery and all that it took it so if uh, you are creating a database by using create database statement uh, that uh, you, you have to understand this is not take an exact copy of that and if you create a uh, with the uh, your uh, GUI that then it will show you all the same options what you have in the model one thing I was uh, going back and forth and understanding uh, let me show you a real uh, let's take the model database properties here and the, especially the file part we have 100 100 and uh, let me see if I can take the snippet here okay but we, we uh, I'm, I don't uh, uh, really hold on I have uh, uh, other files open so here we can remember that uh, let's uh, we have 100 and 100 right and we have 10 and then we have again 100 for the model database so what I was understanding if I will restart the services 
maybe that will help and then also we want to take a look on the temp db right here so we go to properties and within the temp db what we have 13 and 1 and here we have 10 percent and then we have unlimited and uh, let's see if the this, this will affect the temp db it okay now we are going to restart the services i don't think so this is recommended but uh, just uh, to take a look uh, what exactly goes uh, if we restart so we have sql server uh, we have to find a configuration manager i find it here i'm using windows 8.1 and now i have the services here so i have sql server that's my instance name here and uh, we have um, other services are running so let me restart it so right click here and restart so what we want to see we want to see uh, does the temp db uh, take those uh, settings especially the auto growth and uh, uh, initial size uh, from uh, this uh, the, uh, rest uh, after restarting uh, uh, and uh, take from the model or not so let's go back here disconnect this one disconnect everything now come back reconnect let's take the temp db properties first and take a look what happened so with the temp db what we see here it took the initial size to 100 that's it for data file and now for the log file it took one also it uh, the 10% and 10% was already set uh, uh, we should have changed to different number and see that did take effect or not but it's uh, still uh, keeping the unlimited so TempDP also does not take all the properties from the model database. So that's what we understand for sure. So initial size for the data file, it take it, but it didn't take the log uh, file size from the model. So hit cancel. Now we we can uh, take a look again, uh, just to make sure we remember the file sizes and everything. So we have initial uh, size 100 and 100 log and data, and we have 10 MB auto growth max sizes um, 100 so if I create a new one now by using the create statement will that affect or not create database test maybe copy model 4 okay this time I'm, I'm very hopeful I have restarted the services I am hoping like okay it should create uh, the new database with the initial size 100 and 100 for data and log file and then uh, the other settings it should take so come back to here okay it doesn't change anything even we have changed the uh, we have restarted the services so it, it did take uh, the data file size but it didn't take the log file size also on the auto growth and max size didn't it take that property so what we understand from here you might not find these restrictions in the um, list of ms db dn and uh, this is kind of experiment so I, I was doing and I thought okay it is good idea to show you what is the model database and how it work so if we go use a new um, database GUI option it is going to give us the same options but if we use the create database it does not follow exact uh, copy from the model database so this is it probably I don't want to <laughs> take a whole lot of time and keep talking on different uh, issues. Maybe we can make another video sometime. Thanks very much and I will see you next video.